What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a shiny Char Cadet easily in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, guys, if you enjoy my Pokemon guides and like these videos, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. So to begin, we're going to fly over to this Pokemon Center right here, West Providence Area 1 Central. This is pretty much near the Bug Gym, so you want to go up the hill to here, and this is actually near where the Titan is. Now, it can be a little bit tricky to go exactly to the spot, so you want to follow my movements pretty much to a T, and we want to get on our ride Pokemon and get all the way up to the windmills that are next to the Pokemon Center. And then from the windmills, we're going to follow the path a little bit north, and then when we get to the major incline here, we're actually going to be going to the left of this incline. And you can stay up here, it doesn't really matter. Or you can go down below, but you want to hug the side of the mountain. Now, while we're hugging the side of the mountain here, we're going to keep following it all the way around until we see this cave on the right. Now, we're actually going to ignore this cave on the right. And our major goal is to climb up this wall right here. And right here, you can see a bunch of Pokemon will be spawning in. And Charcadet is actually one of the Pokemon that can spawn here, and is also the only fire type that can spawn in this location, too. Now, if you see a level 50 Terra Jolteon, you're going to have to want to like take it out first before you do this, just in case, because it will get in your way. So I don't recommend bringing like two low level Pokemon because you want to remove that Pokemon first. Now, our positioning is going to be the most important thing here. So, from the windmill here, from the windmill, we're going to head towards the cliff. And on the cliff, we're going to see some sort of like ridges in the ground. And we're going to be looking for this ridge right here. We want to be standing about right here next to the ridge. So, if you guys go directly to the left of the windmill, and you, have, you want to be like right next to the ridge. You don't want to be like necessarily on it, but you want to be like right over here you may need to redo your positioning a little bit to get this to work but this is the spot you want to be in in order to get this to work so now we're ready to hunt so first things first always save always have your auto save off because you don't want to waste your sandwich recipe if it doesn't work out so we're going to hit the picnic button and we're still in the same position as before and now we're going to make a fire type sandwich boosting sandwich so we're going to make a sandwich and we're going to creative mode you can follow the recipe here on the screen to figure out how to make the recipe, but it's very simple. One cucumber, one pickle, three red bell peppers, and you can, of course, buy all the ingredients at the Electric City Gym area that has pretty much every food item in the game. So we just need pretty much any two herb and mystica, so I'm just going to use a salty and a spicy. doesn't really matter, though. And then any pick. Now, of course, the reason why we made a save is, well... If you don't get the shiny but of course if you mess up your sandwich so just in case always make that save before doing this process and there we go we have our fire sandwich title encounter and shiny for fire pokemon and now that we have our picnic over you can hit down on the d-pad to zoom in a bit and if you hit once right on the d-pad after you had zoomed in once you can get a better zoom and this is a shiny pokemon that has Blue shiny eyes are going to have like blue flames coming from the eyes. So that's the only way to actually tell. So it's going to be very important that you pay attention because it can be a little bit difficult. You don't want to accidentally miss the shiny. But doing this method, you're going to have a really good chance, especially with the shiny charm, to get a shiny char cadet. And then you can evolve into either a shiny armor rouge or seer ledge. Fortunately, those are both version exclusive. So keep that in mind that if you want to evolve into the other one, you're going to need a friend with the opposing version and get their special armor item. And of course, if you don't see the shinies, if you have all the spawns in, all you got to do is hit the picnic button again and keep resetting until you get the shiny. And if you don't get the shiny within the 30 minutes, that's okay. You can just turn off your game and then do this process over again. And odds are you'll probably get it within two to three sandwiches i mean you could be really lucky and get it in the first sandwich and get multiple in the first one but that just really depends on your rng and there we have it we got a shiny char cadet right over there on the left look at that blue eyed beauty i mean it's pretty obvious but you got to make sure you see the eyes and of course we got attacked by the wrong char cadet he wants to be captured but not today we're gonna go for that shiny oh my god that one was doing a backflip in the background too that's a little bit crazy and of course if you want to be super safe you can like make a save in front of it uh just to guarantee that you will get the encounter with the char cadet and that should be our shiny right here 
Absolutely beautiful. And we got a girl. That's very nice. And there we got it. We got our shiny car shark cadet, which is phenomenal. And, you know, that was within the first sandwich. So that was actually, honestly, pretty lucky for us. But that is why we try to do these hunts with the shiny charm, of course. This gives us the best probability with the shiny sandwiches. And we still have about 10 minutes left. So, you know, even though you got your shiny, you can always try to get more shiny. So try to go back to that ridge and then hit that picnic and then do the process until you're satisfied with the amount of shiny shark cadets that you got from this. And there you have it, guys. That is how you easily shiny hunt shark cadet in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I hope this guide was helpful and I hope everyone here can get a shiny Armor Rouge and Sierra Lodge and maybe even both. And I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon guides in action. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you later. Peace out and have a great one.